going to show you how to do this Tunisian crochet basket weave stitch. This is worked on a multiple of 8 plus 4. I have 20 stitches that I worked with here for this sample. This is an 8 row repeat and to start you will need to work your basic forward and return row foundation and you'll also need to know how to do the Tunisian knit stitch and the Tunisian purl stitch. If you don't know how to work uh, the basic foundation or the knit and purl stitch, I will put links for videos to all of those. Just click below this video where it says show more info and you can get the links there or you can look at the Tunisian crochet playlist on the channel here. So I have here my basic forward and return uh, setup, and I'm ready to begin my pattern. And just like with the simple stitch, I'm going to skip this first bar here, and I'm going to begin with this one. I'm going to work three knit stitches. Oops. And then I'm going to begin my pattern repeat. And the repeat is four purl stitches and then four knit stitches all the way across the row. There are my four purl stitches. Now four knits. Now I'm going to do four purl stitches again. Now I'm going to finish with my knit stitches and I'm only going to actually work three knit stitches under the vertical bars. When I get to the end I'll be working under those two loops like I showed you in the simple stitch video. And then your return pass is exactly the same as like with the simple stitch. You're going to yarn over and pull through one, and then you'll yarn over and pull through two loops for the remainder of the row. Okay, that is to be repeated three more times. So again, you're starting by doing three knit stitches. And then your repeat begins. And it's four purls alternated with four knits. Again, there are my four pearls. I'll work four knits now. And four more pearl stitches. So 
I keep trying to hold my yarn like I do when I knit. I'm making things difficult for myself. Okay, one more pearl. Now my knit stitches to finish out the row. And I'll only be working three. My last stitch is going to go under those two loops of the side here. And then the return row, of course, again, you're just yarn over, going to yarn over, pull through one, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So I'm going to finish up this return row here, and then I will repeat that two more times. I'll have a total of four repeats worked. And then I will show you the next part of the pattern. Okay, here is what I have after completing the first four rows of the pattern. The last four rows, they're pretty much the same thing, except that you're just going to be making purl stitches where you previously have knit stitches and knit stitches where you previously did your purls. So we're going to start out this time with three purl stitches. So there are my three pearls, and now I'm going to start my repeat. And the repeat this time is four knits and four pearls. There are my four knits. Now I'm going to make four pearls. And four more knit stitches. Finish up with some purl stitches. I'm just going to be doing three purls. Because my last one, I'm just going to go under those two loops on the edge. So then, of course, our return row, yarn over and pull through one. And yarn over and pull through two for the remainder of the row. And then that would be repeated three more times. So, oh, I have a knot. <laughs> okay, so you would repeat uh, those steps alternating your knits and pearls three more times. So you're working your little squares here. Four rows each. You do your knits and purls repeat first and then your purls and knits first. And it gives you those uh, alternating squares.